Hi guys, so a situation blew up on Monday night where the uh, the mayor of Manchester City clashed with the government on how to deal with the pandemic. So Manchester has been under certain restrictions for a number of months now and they desperately want to get out of this, but they also want, to, they're willing to uh, deal with restrictions, but they want financial support from the government in order to deal with those restrictions. Now, the government are talking about imposing, possibly imposing unilaterally um tier three levels so let's hear what matt hancock had to say and then i'll come back with some interesting comments about it thank you very much mr speaker and with permission i'd like to make a statement on coronavirus as winter draws in this virus is on the offensive 40 million coronavirus cases have now been recorded worldwide Weekly deaths in Europe have increased by 33%, and here in the UK, deaths have tragically doubled in the last 12 days. The situation remains perilous. And while this disease is dangerous for all adults, especially with growing evidence of the debilitating consequences of long COVID, we know it is especially dangerous for older people. Cases continue to rise among the over 60s who are the most likely to end up in hospital or worse. I'm very worried that the cases per 100,000 among the over 60s is 401 in the Liverpool city region, 241 in Lancashire, and in Greater Manchester has risen from uh, over the past week from 171 to 283. So in the Greater Manchester area, it has moved from 171 to 283. Now, what, what's the big problem here? The big problem is that the mayor of Manchester is suggesting that Matt Hancock and the government are cooking the books. So negotiations have been going on for a number of days now, and they're not really getting anywhere. Um, just on Monday night, uh, the mayor of Manchester suggested that the government are not um, willing to provide the, the sufficient resources to the Greater Manchester area to deal with a, a level three, a tier three lockdown, a tier three restriction, sorry. Um, and they've suggested that Matt Hancock and the government are fiddling the books in a sense, fiddling the numbers in order to impose a lockdown um, now of course the Manchester area is a labor supporting area and there is a chance that the government are doing this in a, in a way to punish the Labour Party that they're playing politics here but it is a serious accusation to say that the government are uh, somewhat massaging the numbers of people in ICU in order to strengthen their hand to impose a, a tier three lockdown. Now, what's happening is that the, the mayor of, the, of, of Manchester City has been demanding more financial support for that, for that area to deal with tier three. And the government have threatened to um, basically say, well, we're going to impose a, a tier three lockdown and not give you any extra financial support in a way to punish um, great, the Greater Manchester area. Now, um, there is a time limit for these talks. The talks are still ongoing. Um, the time limit is the, is at uh, twelve noon on Tuesday. So we're going to see how that pans out. But it it is extremely serious what the government are doing. If they're going to impose uh, restrictions unilaterally, that's going to make it much more difficult for. Um, them to co cooperate later with those towns and it's also a problem for those towns because if uh, restrictions are imposed without any financial support how are they going to deal with the pandemic it's very important that government and local towns and uh, um, for example the greater manchester area work together because if they don't then it's just going to facilitate the spread of the pandemic so we're going to have to wait until noon on Tuesday to see what sort of results come out of these talks and hopefully both sides can resolve it. Let me know in the comment section guys what you think as always your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon you will receive instant access to our Discord server where we have both audio and video chats. 
You can chat with me and other patrons where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?